Hi, I'm Lonnie with Untitled Nerd Network, doing another interview today at awesome Conuga here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and uh, our hometown. And I'm here with, uh, what's your name? John Marks. John Marks, okay. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Uh, and we're here with Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. And I'm, I really, I want to know the story behind this. Then, well, is this uh, like a team effort? It or? was me. I built it myself in my house primarily. Uh, I had to, I started a few years back. I started with the Hulk first. And a lot of people got really excited about the Hulk. And I thought, what can I do next for another big project? And I actually asked folks. I had a couple different ideas. And he was one of them. Everybody wanted me to see it. Do you build. still have the Hulk? I do, but he's some uh, some assembly required. I had to kind of take him apart. Is he like, like a huge? He's about seven feet tall, yeah. Did, uh, have you ever been up at Chicago with him? I did Chicago, I think, one year, yep, back uh, for the Wizard World Chicago. 2014? That sounds right. That was by me. Holy yeah. crap. Yep. I was there because I saw it and... Uh, I've been that, around. <laughs> there, there was actually a giant yep. hulk in somebody's backyard that made it on the news. That, that was, was that? a different guy. That was a different... Okay. Yeah, that was from the movie. They actually did a, a whole bunch of runs of that particular model. I think they did 50 of them. Okay. And one of the guys somehow acquired that. Because I, I, I went to Wizard World. I talk about it every video we yeah. do to meet Stan Lee. Yep. And I saw the big Hulk there. That sure. was you. It is yeah. a small freaking world. <laughs> so you do it by yourself. I do. You built this one. I did. And, uh, how yeah. many? And this wasn't an overnight thing. This no. took some time. Uh, a little over four months and about a little over a thousand hours. I tell people if you can think about going to school for a semester and working on one subject, that's pretty much what it was like. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it comes in six parts, uh, head, boost, and three parts for the tail. Everything. There's wheels built into his belly so I can roll. The main torso out, and I wrap him up like a Christmas tree. You that brought him in. Comes yourself. an old Twinkie truck. Oh yeah. Awesome. How long yeah. does it take you to put something like that together? Uh, I mean, to assemble it here yeah. on site, me for him just by himself, less than about 40 minutes. Okay. But then I also, of course, have to set up the whole background and all the weaponry you see here and all this stuff to get the display looking nice. It takes about two, three hours. Really popular item. I think so. I yeah. think it's doing really well. A lot of people really appreciate it. Because I, mean, I know it's worldwide. We, it's we might actually struggled to get over here where you had a free minute oh, yeah. to do the interview. Sure. So. Uh, so what, tell me about the eyes here. Those things are really lifelike. How did you Thank manage you. that? Uh, it's a three-part thing. I did have to buy the 10-inch horns for the lens, but then from there it is. Uh, it was clay. You can actually see the mold here. I use clay and cover with saran wrap. That creates that nice texture you see in the eye. Yeah. And then from there it was multiple colors of paint. Yeah, uh, this, I'm sorry, it was brushed in latex and foam to make the eye itself. So it's a soft, pliable piece that I can put inside the orb. And then from there, of course, I painted it and then black fabric in behind for the pupil. It does. It looks amazing. So it has that nice 3D, very much like real eye. It, it does look alive, like he's staring into my I, I soul. Knew, <laughs> I knew those were the key point. I knew that would sell it or not sell it, so I really took my time with that. That's awesome. So uh, $5 to post in front of it. Yep. $20 to ride. Yep. And they get a uh, coin you here. You get a coin if you ride the dragon, and of course proceeds go to Make-A-Wish. I've been run, uh, doing that for like the last four cons. It's the fifth one. Uh, so far, so good. I raised two thousand dollars last year. I'm hoping to do at least don't twice that this year. So. Cool. That's cool that so you're far. doing that. Yeah. And tell me about your props, your arsenal sure. here. Uh, made all these myself. Uh, again, most of them except for the helmet there um, and some of these bows. Uh, most of this is made in PVA foam, uh, dowel rods, or uh, PVC for the handle grips. And it's just either contact cement, bark cement. Uh, as you can see, this is just a simple two piece of EVA, and I used a uh, burnishing tool to carve in the lovely design. So, fairly lightweight, very durable. I think I made the whole thing for under 25 bucks. In the best. So, very easy to pull together. And then just a whole old handle grip for a bike that I got from Walmart. So, yeah. Well, speaking of lightweight, how yeah. much does the Dragon weigh? Um, if I had to guess, it would be around 400 pounds total. But it's about 70 for the head. Maybe about 150 to 200 for the body, and then every other section after that is about 30 pounds or less. So cool. pretty easy to move them in once you get them. Once the body's down, it's down to the so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you'll be here the rest of the weekend? I will. Okay, if you're coming by Con New, go check it out. You get to ride Toothless on how to train your dragon. Come by and see the Green Arrow. All and right. later, Ma uh, Mayor Lionheart, when I dress up later for the conference. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate you uh, coming by, man, and letting us let us interview you for the channel. And uh, once they come by and say Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon, say hello to Green Arrow. And uh, going to be here through, I think we're closing up shop around 3 o'clock Sunday. Okay. So, anyway, uh, I'm Lonnie with Untitled Nerd Network. See everybody at Conuga.